All right, guys and girls. Um, let me show you a little trick I used to find uh, bad valves, things of that nature, without tearing down your whole motor. Um, if you got a compression test gauge, these are really awesome. Uh, find your corresponding spark plug hole, which I've already got mine in here because this gauge sucks and that one works. Um, we just need the lead. We're going to hook it up to our airline. And we're going to get our engine to top dead center. And what we'll do is we're just going to run just a couple of pounds of pressure into our hose here. And as you can tell, you can already hear a leak. Um, you can go up and listen. I can hear air coming out of the air box right there. It could be on the, uh, the intake stroke. So you pop up most of your valve covers, and if you'll notice here, that actually has play, and I'll double check and back it off just to make sure. Okay, so I loosen the nut, and I'm going to loosen the retainer, and as you can see, my rocker arm is moving, yet I still have air coming out of my intake. So I've either got crud around the intake or it's bent. And you can go back and double check your exhaust. Now it just shut because it opened up the exhaust, I assume. Intake's opening. I guess it must have popped shut there just for a second. Or it's just going out the exhaust. Let's see. I don't hear it coming out the intake. It's probably coming out the exhaust. Yep. It's coming out the exhaust now, which is probably on the exhaust stroke. We're going to loosen the exhaust up. Okay, so I just. Loosen my exhaust valve way up, and we want to make sure if it's just the intake that's that's doing it. So intake shut off now. I'm on the exhaust stroke though. But anyway. This is how easy way to check. Obviously, we've got an exhaust issue. So, we should be back to black. And you can hear out the exhaust. So, we're going to tear the top head off and see what's going on. Uh, maybe the uh, valve's bent or just got a lot of crud around the lip. But anyway, that's how you, easy way to check for your exhaust uh, and intake if they're leaking. Don't use much pressure because if you use more than like a pound or two of pressure, it's just gonna push your piston and you won't be able to really diagnose it. Anyway, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button.